it, it's really uh, heartbreaking to hear that. Parents shocked with an investigation underway after a special needs student was allegedly restrained to a chair. We're hearing from the mother of that student and what BPS is saying. Plus, wildfires continue to burn in Texas. The latest efforts from firefighters as they try to get the situation under control. And more violence at Brockton High School. Details on the latest incident that left a staff member injured. Really praying that uh, she returns home to us safely. A family's desperate search for their daughter who's been missing since the weekend. We have a live report with the latest on the search. We begin this 5 o'clock hour at Boston Public Schools where multiple staffers, including a teacher, have been placed on leave. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Corey Smith. I'm Jason Monahan. The district has launched an investigation at James F. Condon K-8 School after reports that a special needs student was duct taped to a chair. Tonight, NBC 10's Carla Rojo is talking to the student's mother, and she joins us live. Carla? JC and Corey, that boy is only three years old and nonverbal. We talked to his mom, Anacelia Cueva. She says she is just frustrated. Right now at 530, Vice President Kamala Harris calling for a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. Full details on Harris's plea for a six week pause in fighting. Two storm systems coming at us on Tuesday. We have that one off the mid-Atlantic and then this one, a bigger wetter storm later in the week. Plus, new details on that massive fire that broke out in Northbridge last week, where investigators believe this whole thing started. We all want this conflict to end as soon as possible and how it does matters. First at 530, Vice President Kamala Harris makes it clear the White House supports a temporary ceasefire in Gaza. Thanks for sticking with us, everybody. I'm Corey Smith. I'm JC Monahan. This weekend, the vice president said she wanted Hamas to agree to a six week pause in its war against Israel. NBC 10's Monica Medea has the very latest on Harris's demands. The U.S. now stepping up demands that Israel and Hamas finally agree to a ceasefire deal in Gaza. There must be an immediate ceasefire. Yeah. For at least the next six weeks which is what is currently 